The objective today is I can manipulate the standard units for measuring the sizes of digital files. So we start a brand new unit today, Unit 2. This unit further explores the ways that digital information is encoded, represented, and manipulated, being able to digitally digitally manipulate data, visualize it, and identify patterns, trends, and possible meanings are important practical skills that computer scientists do every day. And heck, at the end of the day, everybody should be able to understand the difference between a gigabyte and a megabyte, um, or at least understand um, which one's larger, if nothing else. Understanding where data comes from, having intuitions about what could be learned or extracted from it, and being able to use computational tools to manipulate data and communicate about it are the primary skills addressed in this unit. And another great way that this unit will help you in life, even if you choose a career that has nothing to do with computers, um, at least you'll have the knowledge to not be ripped off when you get a new cell phone or when you buy a new laptop or buy a new computer. Um, you'll know enough to avoid being ripped off. Think right, share. When, where, and why have you used data in your life? And I'm not talking about data in terms of, like, statistics. I'm talking about the ones and zeros, binary type data. Um, when, where, and why have you used this data? So this table right here, you'll probably want to keep coming back to um, on your YouTube video, whatever um, time you're on. So look at the bottom, see what time this is playing. This is going to be a big reference for you. Maybe even pause the video and take a picture of this chart. This chart is going to be very useful. It breaks down uh, kilobytes and then it goes to megabytes. So it, when you send a single email without any attachments, because attach, attachments add quite a bit of size to the email, um, your typical one email would be about 15 kilobytes. When you send one email with medium quality compression of uh, photo attached, okay, medium quality being that that photo has been pretty compressed, it's not going to be really crisp, HD quality, beautiful picture, but you know, it's a picture and it'll, it'll be fine. Um, this is going to be 300 kilobytes. When you upload one social media post with a photo, that's going to be 500 kilobytes. When I talk about social media, I mean uh, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, just by browsing a web page, you're going to use or ask for about a megabyte of data when you download one minute of music. And this is compressed music, so not even HD quality music. That's also going to be about one megabyte. Downloading a minute of streaming low definition video, so just a single minute would be three megabytes. Download one game, we're up to four and download one minute of high definition video. So when you want to get in that HD quality video, just for a single minute, that's going to take up 10 megabytes. Early computers stored and ran 8-bit instructions and most relied on representing and exchanging messages encoded in ASCII text. The 8-bit chunk or byte became a very common chunk size or unit of data for representing information. It became the fundamental unit with which we measure the size of data on computers. And the way we measure data on computers goes like this, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte. One great way to remember this always would be to say Burger King makes great toast. So burger, if there was the word bite right here, so burger, K for king, makes great toast. The salesperson in a cell phone store is selling is telling me that the phone I'm considering has 8 gigs of memory, which means I can save 10,000 photos taken with the phone's camera. Is this salesperson telling me the truth? Why or why not? If they are inaccurate, in which way are they inaccurate? Are they completely over-exaggerating how many photos can be taken? Or are they underestimating? Here's another one for you. Shakespeare's complete, complete works have approximately 3.5 million characters, which is bigger in file size. Shakespeare's completed works stored in plain ASCII text or a four-minute song on MP3. And then whichever one's bigger, how much bigger is it? Think right, share, just take a guess and try to justify there is no wrong answer here. 
Here's another thing I share for you. Is this really awesome? Why or why not? If you get stuck, use the table on the next slide to help. Here, this is the one I was talking about with the chart, so not the actual next slide in the PowerPoint, but go back to that point in the video where I told you it was really important to remember. So right here it says we compressed your file from 45 megabytes to 401 kilobytes. That's awesome. So just pretending that this was some sort of software that's designed to help you by compressing the data on your machine, is this awesome? Why or why not? So here's size of game downloads. PS4 and PS3 games measured in gigabytes. So NBA 2K, that's going to be 41 gigs. That's pretty big. Um, for the PS3 though, it's going to be smaller. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, we have 31 gigs and then it's 10 for PS3. Okay, so you could just see the games here. Think right share. why would one game be larger than the other? Why is LEGO Marvel so small and yet NBA 2K is huge? And then here's another optional challenge, Think right share, especially for you gamers out there. Why does this go from 41 to 8 and this goes from 31 to 10? Why is the PS3 Call of Duty Ghosts larger than the NBA 2K? And yet if we go to the PS4, over here the NBA 2K is the largest one and the Call of Duty is not. Why? And now for the DOL of the day. So here's an opportunity for you to fill in the blanks. Uh, Burger King makes great toast. Tell me what the real unit name is here. And then give me an example of something that you would see in this category. So if I'm talking just bytes, a single byte, my example of something would be the a an ASCII number. The number 65 represents A in ASCII, and so there's the example. Uh, kilobyte, what's something in this world that is measured in kilobytes? And then so on.